So here's a quick video on how to create a custom list um, on the site. So you may want to send a list of your favorite wines for weddings, or maybe you're reviewing the latest vintages release and your friends depend on you for um, a list of your top picks or reviews or whatever. Uh, maybe you want to create a list for uh, great wedding wines because a friend has asked, oh, what bubblies would you suggest? Um, that we serve at our wedding or whatever. There's, I mean, it's endless. The ones I've created in the past, um, lots, you know, champagnes for Mother's Day, wines for Oscars and so on. So lots and lots of lists. Or maybe you know somebody who just loves Pinot Noir, so you can call it um, whatever, top 10 Pinot Noirs for Rachel. Um, so all you do is to get to this page where I'm at is it's under connect and my lists will bring you right here. And then it's as simple as uh, create a new list. So you can either put the name in right here or it's gonna prompt you uh, to put a name in there if you just click. Yeah, there you go. So whatever, um, top wines or my picks, whatever. Uh, from the March 4th uh, vintages release. You could date that with a year if you wanted to, create a new list. Um, and this is going to show up under your account. Uh, there it is. So you can click into that and then you can start adding wines. Um, so you can either uh, start from this page here. You can always change the name of the list or delete it. Uh, but it's going to ask you, because there's no wines yet, to put some wines in there. So you would go find the wines that you have reviewed. Um, so I'm just going to pick a wine here. Uh, let's say you've reviewed this wine. Um, then you would go and you can see all of the um, icons here. So you want to put it in, this is the list icon. So you'd hit the plus sign, it's going to ask you which list. I've created a bunch here, so um, they're alphabetical. They start with the lists that have numbers at the beginning, but I called it my, uh, here we go, my my picks there it is my picks for the March 4th release okay and you can see it's added so now if I go back to that list I'm just gonna hit the back button and refresh um, so I'll refresh you will see that that wine has been added to your list now let's say you want to share this list um, okay so it comes over here uh, and it will show all wines that you add to this list. And then at the top, you can get this URL copy. And so that someone, you can send someone directly to your profile page with your custom list that you would like them to see. And then they can, from there, click in and get more details like your review and where the wine is in stock and, and that sort of thing. So it's, it's easy to use if you follow the pathway. <laughs> um, and you can always be adding and so on. The other thing you can do is just remove all the wines are there. If you click on print, um, it's going to show you the latest stock for that wine. Um, of course, you have to be logged in and a paid member to see all of the wines uh, and their stock. Uh, but from here, we can go back to the full review page for that wine. Um, there we go. And back again if we want. So we can. You can hide the store stock if you don't want to see that, like if you want to send them all this list or this URL, but again, they do have to be logged in paid members to see all of those details because that's how we earn our living, <laughs> pay the site costs. And you can sort by various um, criteria here. So you would want to, you can send them this, uh, this page, but I think the more attractive page is, is your actual um, page that will show your profile and your wines here so that they can see other things that you've written about or um, shared. So I hope that helps.